Craig Charles, the man, the myth, the legend, the not so tall, not so dark, not so handsome man. But you can't see me. I am the voice of reason in the storm that is Takeshi's Castle. The Japanese game show to end all game shows. So make sure you line on your stomach, Keshi heads. Because coming up, we're making a mess in Slipway. We're getting it wrong. It bowls apart. Well, we're getting mashed potatoes in the sumo rings. So, let go. Fall in to Keshi's castle. Our suntan man generally and his cluster of 100 karaoke singers. They'll have to bustle their way through the harrowing hurdles set by Count Takeshi himself. Go on, General, with your bad self. Yippity doo da, yippity day. My oh my, let's slip into slipway. I'll be to the game. Just don't end up in the drink. Not difficult, the rules to this, really. You're drinking sludge, mate. Good job you brought a hard hat. <laughs> nice style. Love the way he's folding his legs there. Oh, he's looking shy, he's looking bashful. He could be there, though. It's a good shot at it. Just overrun. Bye-bye, baby. A very precise exercise. Oh, way too short. Here comes the Loch Ness Monster. Now, baby, you're going in the water. I told you so. Bye. Look at the way she goes in again. Oh, clinging onto the board. Water up the nose. The little bits of solid. That looked way too hard. He's taken off. He's got wings. Get that out of your face, mate. <laughs> Here we go. Doctor, doctor. Oh, doctor, doctor. You've done it, you've done it, lad. Oh, yes, there is a cure after all. He goes through. <laughs> This time ain't big enough for the both of us. Which one of us is gonna leap? He looked like the guy from Sparks and he's just sunk in the charts. <laughs> he missed the bridge. He can't even see where he's going. But he doesn't want to. He's gonna get wet and he's gonna go home, thank you. God for that. <laughs> the warm room, the rubber cushions, the nice nurse and the bromide and the tea. Oh, dearie me, that was the worst effort in the history of efforts. She'll make a sharp exit from the competition. After we have one last look. Ridiculous or what? Did she even know what she was supposed to do? 86 go through to take on the nappy wearing Emerald Garden sumo rings. 
よかったね。これ式人形。ブルーボール。式人形に入ってる人がいるのに。ね、Can't be difficult, surely. This guy was made to shake, rattle, and roll, and there he is rolling. Body swerve. You're through, mate. Tiptoeing through the potato field. She's got the guy in the red lycra suit, the red nappy. Oh, he's toying with her there, being a bit cocky, trying to say, I'm a man, you're a girl, I can win. I don't believe that for one second. She can easily give this chap a slap. Go on, get him out the ring. Oh, he's being very cocky, very arrogant. Oh, I don't like to see that. She goes, but I'd love to be in the ring with him. Ooh. Ceremonial part taking place there, consecrating the ring. Oh, dear me, good move on a dance floor, sir, but surely not in the sumo rings. She's out, though. Oh. Well said. Oh, he looks, looks a bit nippy out there now. Getting a bit of extended nipple action there from our man in green. Oh, he wanted to get it all over with. You're out, mate. Bye. Shinomuryu. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. It's the man in the nappy. The purple perpetrator. The purple pugilist. Oh, ow! Oh, the wig came off! The same thing happened to Charlton Heston when he met me. Gotta look at it again for my ridiculous replay. Talk about things getting a little hairy. Oh, shit, Haki. Should know it's all right to be follically challenged. 74 bold and not bald battlers will pass through to part two, where they will be met by the sublime poles apart and the ridiculous high rollers. Remember, Keshi has. As my old dad used to say, shut up and sit there. Welcome back, folks. Let's huff and puff and just sit there on the couch watching the telly. Time for the high rollers. The object of the game is not to end up like that fella in the drink. Get from one side to the other. Without getting wet and you go through. Ooh. I wonder the thing, try not to end up in hospital. Difficult game. Injuries abound as she bounced from one roller to the other. She gets caught in the nose. Look at the replay. Here she goes. There she blows. Right in the nostrils. Look at the state of that water. There's bits floating. You can see them. Good recovery now. What can he do? He's going to have to do the caterpillar now. <laughs> no, he didn't. You're out, mate. Sorry. Goodbye. It's Harry Potter. What's he going to do? Is he going to use his wizardry? Oh, so close. He can recover, surely. You know you can. Come on, Harry. Use your wizard skills. Oh, no! Hagrid will be unhappy. That was like Harry Potter and the Swamp of Doom. Look at that! Oh, he got the wheel moving. 
<laughs> and once the roller moves, it's very, very difficult. You've got to move quick. He was too slow. <laughs> Did he come out of that pond? Answers on a postcard. Oh, what was that? that was just... I'm refusing to commentate on that. Future's orange, then again. <laughs> Good recovery. The future's orange, and so is the past. Well, he came dressed as a geisha. He's well wicked, gonna be happy. He's so good, if technique needed defining, that was just it. Look at it, great stuff. So good, in fact. Here's my ridiculous replay. He might have two left feet. That is quite certainly the way to do it. He makes it through to test his polling technique. And pulls apart. Well, you know the game. You know it hurts. You know it's hard. Come on. <laughs> you have to swing on your pole and land on the platform. That was not the way to do it. Maybe this is. Good shot. Oh, unlucky save. So close. Ends up wet, though. In the drink. And out the game. Oh, very confident. Taking a run-up, are you sure, madam? Have you got what it takes? <laughs> no. Look at that tash! Is that the best the West can produce? No wonder he's living over there. He'd never get a date with a tash like that in England. There you go. He's out. Anyway, going home for a shave. Good shot. Great technique. Overdid it. Bounced off. Out the other side. Here he is. The man from the high roll is Mr. Technique himself. Also Mr. Face Powder. But we'll call him Mr. Technique. And now... Excellence again, he nails that landing. This kid's gonna go far. If he can ever get past the chemist. Yes. Oh. Never mind. Soft landing. Happy ending. She's smiling. What a superhero. Working shorts outside of his pants. But that's where the similarities ended. Some eyebrow action going on here. Either that or he's got two mating slugs on his face. <laughs> They're gonna get wet, so is he. Hold on to your hat, mate. Let's see my ridiculous replay, though. Like Brewer's Droop, if you're struggling to pick the pole up, then what are the chances of hitting the fairy mat? Game over for you, lad. 28 Beaver on to put their poles to one side and take on the big and fast black balls of bridge ball. He's come dressed as a lab technician. <laughs> he could go on the doctors fairly soon. Oh, not again, right in the gunnels. Oh, there's only much damage you can take to your biscuits before they turn into crumbs. And he crumbled out of the competition. Well caught. She's looking very tentative, though. Not at all happy. She's taken a battering. She's got to get across this bridge to the other side, avoiding the cannon of the Emerald Guard. She's got the golden ball, but will she go all the way with it to the bank? 
slowly but surely big black balls bouncing off her backside oh she's taken a tumble she couldn't take anymore lying in the net like a floundering trout she's out of the game missed that sartorial taste here Mr. Speedy Pants as well. Oh dear. Oh no. Just at the end. He took a left of the lights and ended up in the net. He's gone. Surely. If you climb the ladders and air sights, you'd get nowhere you wanted to go. Will she get where she wants to go? All the way from one end to the other. Oh, taking a battering already. Oh, she's standing firm, though. Oh, dear. Highly accurate. Highly trained. Emerald Guards. No, oh, that knocked her. She's okay, though. She's uh, maintaining her composure. Oh, no, she's dropped the golden ball. Oh, dear. Showing us a bit more than she intended, I think. She's gone. Bye. Oh, good recovery. Oh, yes, very good recovery. Catches hold of the bridge with one hand. Maintains control of the golden ball. Oh, again he goes, but he's still got the ball. Come on, lad, you can do it. Get yourself up. Takes an awful lot of upper body strength, but he's done it. Agility, dexterity. He's got to crawl all the way back now. Get another golden ball. Seems to sort have of found himself a little technique there. Catches the ball. Oh, yeah, Wazik! Talk about wasting my time! What a waste of an effort. He's wearing his helmet or a jaunty angle. <laughs> Let's see what angle he lands at. Oh, he got that one right in the face! Oh dear! He was too busy protecting the flapjacks. That's the lad. Oh, again, he gets it in the face. Oh, he's going for speed now. Trying to get out of the firing line. Didn't work. You're gone. Bye bye. He looks stunned. Here we have Mr. Technique. <laughs> He's been the lad so far. Oh, taunting the Emerald Guard, playing with them. Oh, look at the lad. This guy, what a guy, if he is a guy. Bad now by balls. Oh, another black ball bangs up his backside. Oh! He recovers. There he is, clutching his golden ball, taunting the Emerald Guard. Disguised as Rainbow Warriors, the gods, of course. But I tell you what, those balls banging off his bum, he's fallen again! He's a cocky little so-and-so. 
He's through, though! This guy is giving the Emerald Guard a piece of their own bit of medicine. Not before we look at the ridiculous replay, though. This loser obviously felt that he'd had enough. Harry Carry is the only way out. Furious flashback time. This is how our losers bit the dust. How the lame were tamed and maimed and shamed at the game. Bye bye, baby. You're drinking sludge, mate. <laughs> oh no! You're gone. Bye bye. Oh, you wizard! We reach the final showdown. A frenetic foursome has sucked out the pipe into the car park. The general starts them off. The Emerald Guard are looking happy. It's like the chorus line from the Mikado. Come and have a go if you think you're Mikado enough. Of course, our contestants have to protect their rings at all times. Which is something I'm not sure Mr. Technique has done before. But his technique has held well before. One contestant loses his ring. The rest battling on valiantly. If your ring gets perforated, you've come this far, but you're going out. He's, oh, is he there? Is he out? Is he through? Is he? Oh, what's going on? We can't tell. It's a melee. Oh, you're gone, mate. Unfortunately, that's it. Ring busted. His brave effort came to a sudden halt. Mr. Technique turned into Mr. Technique phobic. Takeshi's men are successful once more. No winners this time. General? Oh, well. You can cure that with tablets, surely. No one is this time on Takeshi's castle. But as my old dad used to say, you turn on the washing machine, I'll go and see if this sticks. Sayonara.